Hello, I'm Shailene Woodley, and this is a little window into my personal style. When I was younger in this industry and people started telling me what I needed to wear and what I needed to look like, I don't really take other people's advice very well when it's unwarranted. I kind of rebelled against that and went in the opposite direction of like yoga leggings and sweats every day because I felt like, you know, if, if someone was telling me I needed to be a certain thing or look a certain way in order to do my art or to do what felt right as a creative being, I, I just, I found it kind of repulsive. As I've gotten older and come to be in more control of my everyday happenings, um, I've learned to appreciate fashion in so many ways that I never had the opportunity to before. My favorite outfits of all time were from a small indie I did with an amazing director named Greg Araki. And it took place in the late 80s, early 90s, and it was just full grunge. And um, to actually do the sort of righteous um, way of putting things together in the year that I was born, <laughs> when I was just a baby and knew nothing about anything, that was pretty special. The most outrageous outfit I've worn for a role. I had to wear a lot of bikinis in a movie once, and I think that's a little bit outrageous, to be honest, because that's extremely vulnerable. And if we're really gonna go there, the most outrageous thing I've ever had to wear for a role is like, you know, when you have to do a um, nude scene and you have to tape all these weird things all over yourself, so you're like walking around with loincloth. That, that's probably the most outrageous thing I've ever had to wear. Best fashion advice. It's kind of hard to actually break that down. Fashion to me means so many different things. It's not just, a, it's not a benign, there's not an umbrella policy to fashion. It depends, like every single day, the best fashion advice I've ever received is be comfortable because you're gonna be stuck in what you're wearing generally throughout the day. So you wanna be able to breathe or be bloated or whatever happens to you during the course of a Tuesday afternoon. The worst fashion advice I ever received. I was 18 years old, I had just done a film, my career was sort of exploding, as they say. I was really into, and still am, into nature, and I was constantly outdoors and the dirt under my fingernails, and I was 18. And I had somebody from a studio tell me that I needed to dress more cosmopolitan. And I looked at them and I said, I'm 18, I'm cosmopolitan, those, those two things in my paradigm, in my universe, in my reality, do not mix together. I went to the Oscars uh, eight years ago, maybe, and I wore a Valentino dress that it came up to my neck and all the way down to my wrists and down to the floor, and it was all white and beautifully, beautifully finished. When I thought of the Oscars, like I, growing up, it was always like, the most elegant thing that I've ever witnessed. And so to wear something that was Valentino Couture to the Oscars that was all white um, and effortless and feminine but masculine at the same time just felt like the most ideal kind of dress to wear to that ball that year. But overall, I mean, fashion is art. Like that's kind of how I see it. The people, these amazing mad men and mad women behind the scenes who are coming up with innovative designs constantly. I mean, that's some serious mad genius. And I just think it's so exciting at the moment how many people are breaking the mold when it comes to binary and non-binary and, and how people are looking at fashion in general. And there's a lot of lines that are being blurred and I think that it's time for that and it's really exciting to witness at the moment.